Now then, welcome back to another episode on the Hypermind Vanilla 1.9.4 server. Last episode, we spotted that there was a gas tier shop open at spawn and thought about going off to figure out what's new over at spawn and what we can trade and what we can do. I've got other, a few bits and pieces, some books and some emeralds and stuff. I found that I don't have any diamonds because I haven't been mining for ages. And this mending enchantment on all the armor and all the tools means that I, I don't feel the need to go mining for diamonds quite so much. It's taken the mine out of Minecraft, it seems. But still, uh, today though, I want to work out a little bit with you guys on banner designs. Check this one out. This is a cool, like, ghast-like design, which is pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I've got my uh, shield, which is a sun, nem sun, purple, on a, back on a background of purple, a sun on a background of purple. That's it. That's my symbol for nem sun. And there were suggestions, uh, either in the comments or the Twitch stream, that some of these banners that I've been placing as kind of like rugs and pa um, just panels of material around and about the place to decorate should potentially have patterns on. Have patterns on so that they're more rug-like. And I really like that idea, but I don't necessarily have time to mess around with figuring out all the patterns. So I wanted to offer that up to you, my viewers, to see what you can come up with and leave me links in the comments down below to uh, um, banner designs that you think you like. You can either tweet out at Nemson and show me pictures of the design and tell me what the what the things are, because it tells me here what we are. Blue base gradient, purple gradient, yellow flower charge, orange roundel. Those kind of factual bits of information, and I can figure out the rest if I like the design. And then I can throw some more colourful rugs and tapestries and things around the place to make this place look even betterer than it is at the minute even betterer bestest and all that so yeah get get stuck in with that try and figure out some banners and some heraldry and bits and pieces and i will put them around the city here the tapestry side of things if it's just like a, a carpet rug design or it looks like someone's hanging a rug up outside to shake all the dust off then that's cool uh, if it's actually your banner design and you want your banner design here somewhere then i'll get one of these houses and i will feature your banner design in the house to give it like a heraldry of a place like a, a noble house in the district i will do that for you but right now, I'm going to head over to Spawn and just go and see what we've got going on over there today. So, a short ride over to Spawn. Beautiful town hall. Beautiful town hall. And this awesome bridge coming back out of here. Uh, I believe that this over there may be the gas shop that everyone's talking about. We've got gas tiers for sale. Let's go straight there and figure out how much things are worth. Uh, last time we came, I don't think there was a shop inside it. Last time we had a look around, and it was a very dangerous place to get to. But then again, it is potentially the nether, as such. So, yeah, potentially a nice, nasty place to get to. But we do have a way up. Yay! And there's a nice little shop inside now. Uh, special opening offer. Buy one, get one free. One diamond for a gas tier. Is that how it, how it functions? Let's have a look in the book. Uh, one gas tier equals three diamonds. Four gas tiers for ten diamonds. Oh, that's uh, that's quite expensive, isn't it? That's quite expensive. Three diamonds for a gas tier. Okay, well, I don't need any gas tiers right now, but it was nice to have a look at the place. And, oh, yeah, look at that. That's, uh, there's the thing up there. That is one of the dragon, uh, the dragon things, the dragon crystals. And I believe you can make them out of gas tiers right now. I don't know exactly how. I haven't checked it on the wiki. And I don't think I've seen anyone making it, to be honest. I know that this was made, but I don't remember seeing exactly the crafting recipe of it. But they do look pretty cool, don't they? And it's an excellent, excellent build in the middle of... Uh, yeah, in the middle of our town. Uh, at Spawn Town. Even though it's not at Spawn, yes, we've still got Spawn Town. 
Uh, and then Benito made the Hypermine Library, which looks epic. And he spent quite a few episodes setting it all up, making it look so epic. I particularly like all of this extra detail upstairs, all the balconies and stuff. The little areas up here to be able to have a look around and see see about the place. It's quite nice. The library itself is pretty good looking. Lots of bookshelves. Restricted section. Okay, kind of makes you want to go inside it. It's like there's something secret in there that you want to go and figure out what's behind the door. Like, And over on this side, do we have a restricted area on this side? Nope, we just have nothing yet. Okay, it's like, don't go in the restricted area or the bomb will go off and destroy the corner. All right. And then down here, this is the actual uh, trading in and out areas. Oh, wow, look at this. That's cool. I like that floor design. That looks awesome, doesn't it? And uh, what have we got here? Lung Lion, first patron. Ah, oh, there's a Patreon thing under here for him as well. Okay, that's cool. And uh, yeah, the explosive corner. I wonder what he's going to do to all this then. Benito, what are you going to do to all this? What, what's all this happening over here? Come on, let's see what you got. All right, so any low-level books can be traded for the for combining books for higher enchants. Uh, tier 2, standard books for tools, weapons, and armor. Best for basic enchants like Unbreaking or low-level Fortune. And then Tier 3 books are the rarest and most valuable enchantments. Silk Touch, Fortune 3, Looting, etc. All here. For books with multiple enchantments, please use Best Judgment. And the library rules are as follows. Any books of rank 1 and 2, including the books with no rank, such as Silk Touch, includes... Ah, okay. Fortune 2 excludes Fortune 2, Looting 2, Frostwalker 1 and 2, and Fire Aspect 2. Tier 2 books, all level 3 and 4 enchant uh, books, minus the following exclusions. Fortune 3, Looting, Frostwalker, Aqua Affinity, Flame, Fire Aspect, go into this tier. Okay. And then the tier 3 books are the Fortune 3, um, Looting 3, Mending, Silt, Touch, Infinity, Frostwalker 1 and 2. Okay. Well, let's put that back straight, shall we? Uh, like that. That's it. There we go. So what have I got? I've got a Smite, which is a tier 1. Protection 4, which is presumably a tier 3. Fire Protection, they're all tier 3. So what have we got in here that I could uh, swap out for a Smite 1? Uh, protection, unbreaking, feather falling, power, 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 unbreaking, unbreaking, efficiency. I don't really need any of these, to be honest, but still, thorns, that would be nice to put on my armor, I suppose, especially with the mending enchant. Let's put the thorns out and put the smite away. I will keep the thorns as my trade. Thank you. And then the tier two, that's all the sharpness. There's blast protection four in there as well. Protection, there's protection four in there as well. Okay, well, I've got two Protection 4s, but Protection 3 is also in there. And they got to look at the C and Efficiency and Smite and Fortune and all that kind of stuff in here as well. Efficiency 4 and everything's in there. So Tier 3 is the really rare stuff. What have we got in the Tier 3 stuff? Mending, Power, 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 Fortune 3, Silk Touch, Efficiency, Bane of Anthropods 5. Someone's taking the mick there, aren't they? Mending, more Mending, and lots of Power and Unbreaking and stuff. Yes. So is there anything in here that I want to trade out that I, I think I could do with? Have I got Aqua Affinity on here? Yeah, they have. Uh, what do I not have on there? Uh, I've got Respiration and Aqua Infinity. Is there a Respiration 1 anywhere? There's a Respiration 3. So I'll have a Respiration 3 and put in a Protection 4. I want to see if there's anything else. Aqua Infinity doesn't go up any, does it? Thorns 1, Protection 3... That might be something I get. Thorns 1. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe get Thorns 1 on armor. So things that hit me get some damage. And I then get the mending off it all. Yeah, Thorns 1. So I'm going to put the fire protection in there for Thorns 1. But there's also protection 3 in there. So I'll put the protection 4 in. Fill that one out. Because that gives me some things that I want to add to my armor. Respiration 3 and Thorns 1 twice. So I put Thorns on two pieces. The pieces with the most armor value probably yeah and yeah make the respiration three on the shiny dome awesome so what else has been going on around town while i've been off and away it doesn't look like there's too much more developed than normal but this is a new place what's this 
Uh, Luna's house. Ah, oh, yeah, Luna's house. We won't go exploring in there too much. Um, I think Luna is um, Albanaka's daughter. So she's been playing and she's made herself a little house over here. Uh, Benito's little layer down there. We've got that's a new, fairly new looking structure over that side. Uh, I, can, I can remember when this was out in the wilds and now look, there's buildings developing up and around all over the place. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, we've got a pathway sort of leading us this way. Let's have a look. And then what are these? Are these the cheap accommodation for the villagers? Yeah, these are cheap villager accommodation stuff. So there's got some villagers wandering around here. Seems to be about four of them all in one place there looking at themselves funny. And uh, somebody's got a lot of dogs. A lot, a lot of dogs. A lot of dogs around. What's this over here then? That looks like a cool little place. There's... The Hobbit Hole over here. That's looking pretty cool, the Hobbit Hole. Uh, but I don't recognise this. I don't recognise who built it, where it's from. It's pretty cool though. Uh, and there's a there's a, a really cool build by Twinkles that's around and about the place as well. The graveyard and all that. I would like to find that. I think that's over that side somewhere. So I'll work around to that in a bit. Uh, the stables are looking good. The Iron Golems do not appreciate paths so much that seems to be a problem with them i don't know why exactly and we've got donkeys and all sorts in here now that's good it's quite quite enclosed and dark uh and there was a the sound of a zombie oh there he is and he can't get out for whatever reason because that oh he's he's got a name he's the bob the horse trainer oh yeah i've seen him before he's cool bob the horse trainer and this is the melon and pumpkin farm is it Pumpkins and melons, lots and lots of them. Is there a is there a thing for buying them? I don't know if there's a thing for buying them, but oh, I'll have some free cake while I'm here. They, wow! As soon as those pistons all kick in, that just slows me right down. Uh, yeah, I think I will have a uh, couple of stacks of pumpkins to help me in my lighting up the desert area. That's cool. Okay. Going dark now though, so we need to sort this out. What what where's this bridge come from? There's a bridge over here. Where's it go? This is pro proposed road to the front of the rail side along the river. Okay. Uh proposed north railway station. No, nope, nada. Nothing over here. Okay. The answer is no, 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 no. Um no to the proposal, or no, don't travel this way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But hey, that's how we communicate on the server. We leave signs for each other. Especially when you don't necessarily know where you're talking about until you get there. Uh, what's going on around at the tree farm then? Not a lot around at the tree farm. My lighthouse is still looking awesome, as always. And I do need to get myself sorted out some of my banners. Remember what I'm saying about banners? I would like to get some of that going on. All the villagers seem to have uh, accumulated around this area. I was hoping that they would all escape when I opened the banners up and let them out. And my horse has gone as well. Old bones has disappeared. And uh, um, squatters. Squatters. Hey, squatters. What's all this about? You're all, uh, you're all hanging together like uh, this is your house. This is my house. You know that, right? I wonder if there's some more in here. There's more villagers headed... Get, get out of that. More villagers headed into the lighthouse. They're the, now the lighthouse keepers, are they? Is that the thing? Yeah? Are you all the lighthouse keepers now? What? Is anyone down here? I wonder how many have fallen down into the mine shaft. Well, apparently none at the minute. Apparently none yet. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting my uh, lighthouse to be overrun by villagers when I got back. What should I do about this? Hmm. Kill them all and bar the doors. Somehow a villager must have got in here to start off with. And then they carried on coming into the place. Uh, let's have a quick sleep. Let's get them out of this. Well, let's at least send it so it's daytime so they can leave the house. Right, now it's day. Get outside. Go and do something interesting outside. It's probably my farm out here that's actually caused them to uh, start thinking about coming over here. Yeah, look, it's constantly planted. 
They may have even bred over here because they've uh, replanted all the field over here. Constantly, constantly. But how did you get in? Yeah, there he is. He's, uh, he's doing the farming behind me there. How did you get in? And uh, what? From down there? They must have come down the side and gone round somehow. Doesn't that look cool? Look at that. It's a it's a bit glitched out there because that place isn't uh, loaded up properly. But still, isn't that looking fairly good? Yeah, that's looking awesome. Oh, there it's loaded in properly now. It's looking like an awesome, awesome ship. Well done. That's pretty epic. Uh, yeah, they must be coming in down here and then going up the stairs into my house to go and find other villagers and the like. Oh, man. Squatters. I have squatters in my house. That's not what I wanted to see, but still. Ah, uh, well, at least it's busy while I'm not here. At least it's active. I do want to pick up a load of dyes and stuff as well, so that when you send in your banner designs, I can then start actioning them fairly quickly. Um, but of all the villagers from in... No, all the villagers are still here as well. There's a ton of villagers everywhere. Villagers, villagers everywhere. There's so many villagers. Wow. And they're down there and they're around here, are they? No, nope, they're not in there. They're just sticking around by the doors. So many, so many iron golems outside now. Wow. So many iron golems as well. Defending the front door of the whacked out mole. That is some security system, Jan. That is a security and a half you've got going on there at the front there. Um, but villagers everywhere. Is this old bones? Yes, old bones. He, he did escape, but now I've got him back. He didn't escape very far. Someone just must have let the gates open. Left the gates open for me. Right, I want to go and find out what's along the, the harbour area. Nothing much more changed. That's a new build there. I want to go and see whose that is. Let's go and have a look up here. Whose is this new build? This is a shop. With a very big door. Ah, oh, this is the trading. I see, I, t I see. So you can put anything in there and trade it for that. And just change the sign, I believe. Yeah, like this. So, free iron. Free iron is all empty because it's free. Free food. Hey, free food. Yay, free chickens. That's cool. I don't need the free chickens, but still. And then iron from the iron farm gets brought over here as well. That's cool. Okay. One tool, any... Equals one diamond. Okay, so there's lots of tools over here that can be sold for diamonds. Or bought for diamonds, should I say. And some people have been doing that already. One glass for any wood. One string for an andesite. String for andesite. Now, there's a trade I might be doing stuff with. Because I haven't got a string farm yet. I've been searching my abandoned mine shaft under the, uh, under the desert. And not found a spider spawner to turn into a string farm yet. A uh, stack of quartz for a diamond. Everybody wants diamonds. I want to buy diamonds. What can I buy diamonds with? That would be cool. Uh, I think we go this way for Twinkle's place. I think we go this way for Twinkle's place. Not 100% sure. I could take the wonderful railway, but I also have a path that runs next to the railway. So I'll take the horse, thank you. The railway is cool. Basket MC has done a great job of the, that. Twinkle's Church. The road to Twinkle's Church is this way. This away. And this away. And round here. You can kind of see it in the distance over there. Twinkle's Church. I really like watching Twinkle's build this place. If it can load in properly. Come on. Thank you. Reloaded all the chunks. Look at the detail of this place. It's awesome. In her last episode that I saw, she made this crypt. It looks like she's added a little bit more detail since the end of the last episode. But I do like Twinkle's build over here. This is an awesome church and an awesome graveyard. So much attention to all the little details. All the little things that go into making this uh, an immersive place. A very cool looking place. I like. I like it a lot. Well done Twinkle's. I like this. I like that a lot. So go and check out Twinkle's in the uh, video links and all that kind of stuff off the Reddit page. And go and check that out. That's pretty cool. Uh, who else and what else have we got around here? We've got an island in the sky. A big opening there which the railway goes through. But that seems to be about it. Uh, I think Basket's been doing a lot of work 
on the main railway station. Let's go and see how much work he's got done. I don't think I've seen a video from him in a little while. But it is a lot of digging and a lot of grinding. I've seen that they're streaming stuff uh, quite regularly on Beam and on Twitch to figure out what's going on where. And the loading of stuff is not working very well for me today, look. I can just see right into the world over here. Uh-huh. That's weird. It's 1.9.4. We've just updated the server to 1.9.4. I don't think there was any discussion about it. It just kind of just happened. And now it's 1.9.4. And here we are in 1.9.4. Checking it out and figuring out where all the bugs are. And loading world errors seem to be one of the major bugs. Maybe it's just because I'm riding a horse. Maybe that's the only reason it's actually erroring so much. Uh, but never mind. It doesn't matter too much. It's all part of the game. Minecraft will never, never be truly finished, will it? And here we go. I've got bits missing over here as well. Uh, there we go. It's loaded in. Awesome. I was using Optifine previously on 1.9.2 but I can't use Optifine with 1.9.4 yet because it hasn't been released uh, or at least it hasn't been released when I was checking last and recording this but look at the massive 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 hole that's been dug for the main railway station I believe this is going to be like a railway station that goes everywhere and anywhere and there's some cool crossings and stuff that he's been doing on stream as well uh, like um uh, this seems to be one of them, yeah. This seems to be one of them. Uh, I think it goes round like this. Temporary Express. Maybe it's not this section. But uh, there was some, uh, like... Yeah, there was some areas where the, the posts come up and it's like a pedestrian's crossing type place. Oh man, look at all this. Load in. Thank you. And it looks like the bridge is out over here. What's going on here? The bridge is out. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to see. But let's go over this way. Go to the iron farm. See how that's doing now. There's a portal over to the iron farm as well. Now that's cool. The iron farm has its own portal. Spawn has its own portal to spawn. And we've got boat pig still here. That's good. Port hypermine, yeah. And lots and lots of iron. Is it well and truly stocked up? Yes, it is. So let's take some stacks. I only need a, need a block. Or a stack of blocks just to keep me going. Just to make sure that I don't run out of iron around and about the place. That is what the iron farm is here for. For taking all of the different iron that we need. There we go. Just another stack of blocks that'll do nicely. A little bit of a stockpile. It's kind of like a shopping episode. But without the diamonds to do the shopping. It's a bit strange. I don't have any diamonds to buy stuff off people. Uh, but the actual iron farm itself is looking epic. There's a great big... Um, there's a great big build episode from Soap on the channels as well. So you should be able to see that soon enough. Let's go and have a look. See if it's changed much since the last time I was over here. It still, it still looks pretty much the same thing as it was last time. Uh, I think he's improving the area around it slightly more. Uh, doing some other bits and pieces around here. It must be doing some digging down and stuff like that. Always in the loaded spawn chunks. So there's always something good going on. Uh, but the access point that most people use is just down here. It's just nice and simple to get it all from here. Which is good. Which is good. Alright. Time to head back to spawn. Okay, back over to the squatter's palace. Tundra villagers squatting in my place. Um, I've got lots of uh, dyes and stuff, so coming back to earlier when we were talking about sending me some banner designs and stuff, I've got the ability to create almost everything. Um, ink and ink is probably the hardest. I've got applied quite a bit of lapis, but I've got most of all the flower types and all of the different colours and that available. Uh, different things like sunflowers and oxide daisies and stuff, but don't bother with the creeper heads. Obviously, I ain't going to be able to do any of those creeper heads uh, until I get a charged creeper and lop his head off for the banner. Uh, so just try and keep it nice and simple. We want to see just simple designs like, like the one I'm wearing on my shield and the one that I use myself. They're fine. Nice, simple designs. And any kind of like carpet or rug designs would look cool as well for, for things to go around the desert village. 
Well, I'm going to leave it at that for today's episode. It was kind of an unplanned planned tour without being able to buy much from the place. I've got a couple of things in my... Guys, you're crowding my style. You're cramping. You're cramping me. Get get away, would you? Why are they in my house? Why are they in my house? It's like they're all in my face like that. Right, let's do it over here. Okay, so is there, yeah, thank you for watching today's episode. And I will look forward to seeing either via Twitter or in the comments of the video your suggestions for banner designs to decorate the desert city. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.